hey guys welcome back to my channel i'm so happy to see you here today like always i'm ready to give it all and get this workout to you guys today is sunday but you might be seeing this sometime in the week today workout is a circuit you are gonna do three rounds with little to no rest in between round one you're gonna work on speed round two you're gonna work on strength add on weight to the same exercise round three will be your last round so you should give it your all and we are starting with jumping lunges these are dynamic and challenging exercises that target the muscles in your lower body including your hamstrings and glutes i started with this one because it's one of the hardest moves for me to perform so i always say start with the hardest task first make sure to use explosive push of the ground with both feet next up is jumping squats i want you to focus on the quantity over quantity in sharp proper form for each repetition land softly to reduce the impact on your joints. i wanted to add a core exercise to the circuit so i added toe touches crunches i want you to exhale as you lift your upper body and leg and also inhale as you lower them back down keep your movement control and avoid using momentum i know it's super hard Trust me, even I do it. Focus on contracting your abdominal muscles throughout the entire exercise. This could be challenging, so if you have any challenges with touching your toes, try to aim to reach as far as you can while also maintaining good form. Moving on to round two, I'm going to show you a brief example on how to elevate each move with dumbbell or with agility. For round two, I want you to focus on being quick and explosive when it comes to jumping lunge. Moving on to squat jumps, I'm going to intensify and challenge your lower body muscles even more by adding weight and doing a 360 squat jump. If you're not ready to add weight to your squat jump, that is totally fine. Work on your speed and just focus on resting less for round two. Adding dumbbells to your toe touch crush can increase and add resistance to the intensity of this program, which is exactly why I added resistance to round number two. For this particular exercise, I'm trying to target your abdominal muscles more effectively. As I always mention, pay attention to your body, and if you have any concerns or any questions regarding this program, comment down below or feel free to send me a DM and I will for sure help you out with any questions that you might have. I'm trying to keep this guy short, so for round three, make sure to combine round one and two, which was speed and agility, to round number three. Now we're gonna move forward to your finishers. You wanna perform one set to your max till failure. That means you have no set reps. You're gonna keep going until you can anymore. And we're starting with oblique twist, which is a great addition to any program because adding oblique twists is a great addition to your core workout routine. It's gonna help you with strength and toning the muscles along the side of your abdominals. We are moving on to side star plank. I wanna elevate it just a little bit more. I wanna introduce an advanced variation of the emphasis for core strength and balance. The start plank involves raising your top side arm and leg while also performing a side plank. You could challenge your lower body a little bit more by doing leg raises. Up next is plank. You want to make sure that your body is straight and parallel to the floor. Planks are extremely good if you're trying to work your core. This is your isometric move. I added it to be a core because I wanted you to build that strength. The reason why a plank is an isometric move is because it's actually maintaining one position for the entire movement and finally you have the backward lean kneeling make sure to hold your abs and go as low as you can guys thank you for watching again i love working out with you guys and i'll see you next time bye